<clears throat> yeah, welcome to another Music Maker guitar video. Today, um, just honky tonking a little bit, practicing on this guitar. Still enjoying the string joy strings here, so, um, you know, so far so good on that. Um, I'm really definitely finding that, like, the bending. <laughs> really comfortable so um yeah I'm gonna just keep going with it um, and then the only other thing I was gonna kind of maybe talk about today was like um, tone a little bit because I've been doing a lot of recording and I've really found it's just like such a different animal than live music um, and it's funny because like most of what I do is live um, most of these videos are just straight amp to the mic and the camera um, but I've been doing, like like I said, a lot of recording for some other people. Um, I think I said that in Friday's video. And it's just like a totally different monster. So like when I'm recording uh, or when I'm playing like live, I always just set the amp hot, let the amp do the work, and then work my volume control. But like when I'm recording, I found that the best tone kind of comes from just like cranking it up to 10 and then um, playing with it in the mix um, and fixing it in that way. So it's been just a really interesting time. And, and actually what I did this week, I know I kind of said last time I was just gonna only play this guitar as much as possible, but I was just finding I needed some other tones that just weren't Stratocaster tones. So what I ended up doing this week was I tracked a 38 guitar tracking session. It was just like, 38 different guitar tracks just different parts on on one song most of it just like melody some of it like being kind of like drone guitar stuff um, and as many of those parts as I could were this but that only ended up being like four um, so I played four on that I did another three on my, epi my epitone, uh, epiphone flat top acoustic using my Fishman single coil pickup just for some extra tone on that. And then I used this nylon string acoustic. The song was in A minor, so check out this tuning. I don't know if it stayed or not, but yeah, it didn't. Low A, middle A, middle A. See, it didn't stay. This is what I get for doing alternate tunings. A, 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 A. <laughs> a, 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 E. Just so I could... Just so I could do some funky layers with that you know what i mean because the song is an a just needed some a's um and then i also tracked also tracked this carbo carlo robelli so i got a ton of like acoustics and i even smacked on the back of it for, for a couple of tracks um and then i also got on my like lead tracks i did two Telecaster parts, double those an octave lower on the 335, and then also a PRS track, because why not get every single guitar you own in there? Um, and yeah, it ended up being like 38 tracks. And uh, so, but what I found was really cool about it is it doesn't really sound like it's that much. Like once you play a mix, like it really, it, it still sounds like you're like one guitar player after that. If you, if you, it's you that recorded every single track. So, um, I don't know. It's just, again, recording is such a different animal than like playing live. So, um, uh, I've been just really, really diving down that rabbit hole. And I do find that like recording yourself, listening to yourself makes you a better player when you go back to playing live. So I'm really, really enjoying the, the education that I'm getting from, my system and listening back to myself and like listening to what things do I like so that I can do those more and what things do I hate so I can do those less and again that's just I think a, a step that any any guitar player practicing should take um, because if 
if you're not doing that, it's it's really hard to actually truly listen to yourself. You're distracted by trying to play. So um, as much as you can, try and avoid doing that, you know, and, and just record yourself and then sit back and listen and take it all in. And, and try not to get distracted by the the Instagram stuff and the, the, the Facebook feed and just like all of the social of it all. It's all distraction, you know. It can be inspirational sometimes, but I think that, you know, when you're working and you, you want to keep your head in your own lane and just make sure that you're doing the best thing that you can. And then when you need to go back for some inspiration, that's cool, but... Um, yeah, really just listen to yourself, you know, and then you'll you'll figure out like, okay, I don't like that. How do I fix it? It's a really um, cool thing uh, about living in, in the, the time that we're living in is that we just have access to all that stuff. So use it, you know. I'm going to go ahead and play myself out, but uh, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what else uh, you'd like to see on this channel, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.